Welcome to Learn Commerce PU Online Classes. Don't forget to like our video and subscribe our YouTube channel for all the updates. Hello everyone, welcome to second PUC statistics online classes. Today we are going to discuss fitting a binomial distribution. Okay, to fit a binomial distribution, what is the meaning of fitting a binomial distribution? The meaning of fitting a binomial distribution is to fit a binomial distribution to given observed frequency distribution. We know that formation of observed frequency distribution that is value of a variable along with its frequency. Okay, here x is observed value, f is frequency. Okay, to construct fitting a binomial distribution, the important steps to be considered. In that first step is calculate mean of observed frequency distribution. We know that how to calculate mean of observed frequency distribution. Here x and f is given. So, mean of observed frequency distribution is x bar is equal to summation fx divided by capital letter N. The step 2 is equate mean of observed frequency and theoretical mean of binomial distribution. Okay, here given mean of observed frequency distribution that is x bar this is equal to the mean of binomial distribution is NP. Okay, generally N is given in the question so we need to estimate the value of P. So, to estimate P, the formula is P is equal to x bar divided by n. Okay, next step 3 is uh, find the first term of probability distribution. Okay, uh, the first term of probability distribution is P naught. Then th th this is binomial distribution. So, the first term of binomial, first term of probability of binomial distribution is nc here x is 0, so nc is 0, p to the power 0, q to the power n minus 0. Okay, this is the third step. Then fourth step is find theoretic, first term of theoretical frequency distribution that is T naught. Okay, to calculate first term of theoretical frequency distribution, the formula is Tx is equal to n into P of x. This is first term of theoretical frequency distribution. The formula is T naught is equal to n into P of 0. Okay, next step 4. Okay, here of step 4, 4 is T naught is equal to n into P of 0. Then step 5 is yeah, remaining. Okay, this is the first frequency distribution. So next the remaining theoretical frequencies are obtained by using recurrence relations. The formula of recurrence relation is T of x is equal to n minus x plus 1 divided by x p by q into p by q into T x minus 1. Okay, recurrence relation formula is T x is equal to n minus x plus 1 divided by x into p by q into t x minus 1. Okay, next step 6 is write both observed frequency, observed frequency and theoretical frequency in the table. Okay, that is observed frequency and theoretical frequency in the table that can be made easily comparison. Okay, now let us see problems based on theory fitting a binomial distribution. Okay, now see the question that is fit a binomial distribution for the following data and obtain the theoretical frequencies. And here observations are given that is x and f. Here x is uh, observed value and f is frequency. Okay, now we know that the first step of fitting a binomial distribution that is calculate mean of observed frequency distribution or mean of given frequency distribution. The formula is x bar is equal to summation fx divided by capital letter n. Okay, now here see 
x and f values are given. So next we need to calculate f into x, f into x, okay. See here 0 into 8 that is 0, 1 into 32 that is 32, then 2 into 34 that is 68, then 3 into 24 that is 3 into 24 that is 72, then 4 into 5 that is 20. Then sum of f into x is 0 plus 32 plus 68 plus 72 plus 20 that is 192. Here we got the value sum of fx sum of fx that is 192 then capital letter n is 103. Okay, now I will substitute these two values in the formula. Okay, this is equal to 192 divided by 103. Okay, this is equal to 1.864. Okay, here we got the mean of, here we got mean of observed frequency distribution. Then this is the step 1. Then step 2. Step 2 is equate mean of observed frequency and mean of binomial distribution that is NP. Okay, here we know N. Here N is 4. Then what is x bar? x bar is 1.864. Then here we need to estimate the value of P. Okay, we know here N is 4, x bar is 1.864. Then P formula is P is equal to x bar divided by N. Okay, this is equal to x bar is 1.864 divided by N is 4. Okay, then P is 1.864 divided by 4, then p value is 0.466. Okay. If we here we got the value of p, then we can easily calculate q. Then q is one minus p. Okay, this is equal to here p is 0.466. That is 1 minus 0 0.466 is 0 0.534. Okay, here we got the value of P and Q. Then step 3. Okay, step 3 is we need to calculate first term of frequency. Frequency, oh, I'm sorry, first term of probability. Before that, we have to write probability mass function. That is PMF of P of X is equal to PMF that is P of X is equal to NCX P to the power X Q to the power N minus X. Okay, here we need to in the step 3 we need to calculate probability of first term. So first term is 0. So in the place X we have to write 0 that is P of 0 is equal to n here n is 4 here n is 4 and x is 0 and p is 0 0.466 to the power x that is 0 then q q is 0 0.534 to the power n minus x. Here n is 4 minus x is 0. Okay. This is equal to n c 0 that is 1 into 0 0.466 to the power 0 that is 1 into 0 0.56. We see here 4 minus 0 is there. So that is 4 next 0 0.53 0 0.534 to the power 4 is 0 0.0813. Okay, this is equal to 0 0.0813. Okay, here step uh, 3 is finished. Next step. Next step we need to calculate the first term of 
theoretical frequency that is T naught okay to calculate T naught we using the formula Tx is equal to n into P of x okay first term of theoretical frequency that is x in the place x we have to write 0 this is equal to n into P of x that is P of 0 okay if we know here n is 1 not 3 here n is 1 not 3 and P of 0 is 0 0.0813 so we have to substitute in the place n 1 not 3 into P of 0 is 0 0.0813 okay this is equal to 1 not 3 into 0 0.0813 is 8.9 okay so first term of theoretical frequency is 8.9 okay here first term of theoretical frequency is over next remaining frequency uh, remaining theoretical frequencies are obtained by using recurrence relation okay recurrence relation formula is tx is equal to n minus x plus 1 divided by 1 into p by q into t x minus 1. Okay, here the first term of frequency is over. Next we need to calculate second term of theoretical frequencies that is t 1 is equal to. So, here it is in the place x here it is 1. So, n minus 1 plus 1 divided by 1 ok I am sorry th recurrence relation formula T x is equal to n minus x plus 1 divided by x p into q into T x minus 1 then here formula T 1. So, T 1 is equal to n minus in the place x here it is 1. So, 1 plus 1 divided by x that is 1 into P by Q. Okay, here P is 0 0.466 and Q is 0 0.534. Then I will substitute that 0 0.466 divided by 0 0.534. Okay, here see here T x minus 1. Here x is 1. So, I will substitute in the place x here 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0 then it is it will become T 0. So, T 0 is 8.9. T 0 is 8.9. Okay, this is equal to here n what is n? n is 4. Okay, in the place n I will substitute 4. Okay, now 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. So, divided by 1 that is 4 only into here 0 0.466 divided by 0 0.534 is 0 0.872 into 8.9. Okay, this is equal to 4 into 0 0.872 into 8.9 is 28.9. Okay. Now, next here first term is over. Next we need to calculate T2. This is equal to, so here in the formula, here n is 4 minus x is 2 plus 1 divided by here x is 2 then next p by q that is 0 0.466 divided by 0 0.534 i will write directly that is 0 0.872 into next t x minus 1 here x is 2 so t 2 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 that is t 1 so here t 1 is 28.9 9 okay then answer is 
here 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 plus 1 that is 3, 3 by 2 that is 1.5 into 0 0.872 into 28.9. The answer is 37.8. Okay. Next, theoretical frequency is third, uh, fourth theoretical frequency that is T3. So, in the place x, I will substitute 3. So, uh, then uh, substitution is here n is 4, 4 minus x that is 3 plus 1 divided by here x that is 3 into p by q that is 0 0.872 into here c x t 3 minus 1. So, here this is 3 minus 1 is 2. So, t 2 is 37.8. Okay, this is equal to 4 minus 3 is 1, 1 plus 1, 2. So, 2 divided by 3 that is 0 0.66 into 0 0.872 into 37.8 that is 21.9. Okay, next the last frequency theoretical frequency that is t4 so here in the place x here it is 4 so i will substitute the 4 in the formula that is n is 4 minus x is 4 plus 1 divided by 4 into p by q is 0 0.872 into 21.9 okay that is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, 0 plus 1 that is 1, 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 into 0 0.872 into 21.9 that is 4.7. Okay, here T4 is 4.7. Here we got all the theoretical frequencies. Okay, next step is we have to write both observed frequency and observed frequency and theoretical frequency frequency in a table that can be made comparison easily. Okay. Now, observed frequencies are 8, 32, 24, 25, 32, 24 and 5 then sum of this is 1 or 3. Okay. Now, theoretical frequencies are the first fre theoretical frequency is 8.9. Okay. I will write approximately 9 then here t1 is second term of theoretical frequency is 28.9 okay i will take it as 29 next is 37.8 so i will take approximate value that is 38 next next is 21.9 then approximate value is 22 next last frequency is 4.7 then approximate value is 5 then sum of this is 9 plus 29 plus 38 plus 22 plus 5 this is also 103 thank you for watching this video